Perfect. Okay. Welcome, everyone. This talk will be a non-technical one. I'm sorry. Someone will be happy. Someone will be not. But this specific talk is uh, about introverted developers on social media. Welcome, everyone. So before we start, um, who am I? I am Francesco Zulla, as she said. I am a developer advocate for Del Dev. I would love to also talk about developer advocacy. I'm also a Docker captain. It's a sort of ambassador for Docker. And apart that, uh, in the last two years, I've been uh, very active, to be honest, uh, on social media. Probably it's also because of COVID. <laughs> I'm very active on uh, YouTube, uh, Discord, and of course, uh, Twitter. I think I've been uh, a little bit too active uh, on Twitter in the last two years. Okay, so let's start with this uh, presentation, with this talk. Introverted developers on social media. Let's try to break it down and let's try to analyze this title. Okay, so let's start with the introverted. So who is an introverted? Who is an extroverted? Can introverts do some stuff on social media? Can they do a presentation? We will see. And to try to answer to this, uh, to this question, so who is an introvert, who is an extrovert? Uh, at the beginning, I tried to give my own uh, definition with my, okay, so I feel like that, I feel, uh, I don't feel that. But uh, to be honest, uh, I think that instead of using my own uh, custom and random uh, definition, let's ask this uh, to an expert. So. Uh, this person is uh, Carl Gustav Jung. He is the creator, the founder of a modern psychoanalysis. And even if I, someone said that uh, his definition is, um, is not like the most updated one, you know, I don't know nothing about like, psychology. So let's start with like the basic, like uh, using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. I know that this definition works in some ways. I know, at least I know that this is not wrong. Okay. So, who is an extrovert? Uh, an extrovert is a, a person who always seeks for uh, outside input, inputs from the outside. It can be action, sensory input. So this is how the mind of uh, an extrovert works. And by the way, there is no pure introvert on poor, pure extrovert. Usually we have like percentages, okay? And instead, uh, who is an introvert? An introvert is a person who focuses on their own mind and they focus on reflection, understanding, and dreaming. So this is how the mind of a person who is more introvert works. Okay, so uh, it's very important to understand that uh, being an introvert is uh, a defined trait. It's not something that, that changes, but there can be some variables that they can change based on the situations, if you are, for example, with your friends, by the context, and also by the age, so when you get, get older, okay? So as we said, the, the introvert person is more oriented in his own way of processing things, okay? And uh, this, uh, this factor includes uh, some traits uh, which are uh, um, reservedness, uh, uh, sobriety, interest, and uh, a very important one uh, is uh, creativity. We will go back uh, on, the, on this specific one uh, very soon, but uh, please uh, let's keep this in mind. Okay, so this uh, is very, very important. Please, introversion is not shyness. The shyness is something else. The shyness is the tendency of um, fear of having like social activities, and also especially the fear of the judgment, okay? And this can tend to isolation and so avoiding some social activities, which can also be, for example, a conference like this one. It's, it's a shame, but probably someone didn't come for that reason. We are sorry for that. And um, usually in adolescence, uh, uh, it's more pronounced, and it tends uh, to, to decrease with the age, also known as uh, my grandpa doesn't give a damn. <laughs> okay, so an important part uh, is uh, what is uh, instead social phobia. Social phobia is something else, it's not shyness, it's not introversion. 
this is uh, when the elements of shyness become more pronounced. We are talking about uh, social anxiety or social phobia. And so this is something, this is something else, okay? And um, so again, uh, the introvert is not shy, but uh, the, the problem is that they don't feel, they don't feel the need to share things with someone else. They tend to keep things for, the, for themselves. This is one of the reasons why uh, usually introverts have some problems on social media. Like, why should I share this? Okay, I like this, I like this article, I like this video. Why should I now share this? And for me, it's still, by the way, I'm an introvert, okay. <laughs> and, uh, and, and of course, uh, sharing stuff, it's always seem a bit strange. Like, why should I share something that, uh, that, I'm, that I, I, I read, that I, that, I, that I listen, for example? So this is the, this is the, the reason. Okay. And this was the introverted part. Okay, so now let's go with the developers, okay? And, uh, okay, uh, I got this one. <laughs> I, I changed this, uh, this meme a couple of days ago. I don't know if you can, I don't know if you can see it, but uh, this is, uh, I'm proud of, uh, of Italy for having put, uh, this is the official uh, uh, journal, okay? And uh, this is how they see a uh, developer. I don't know if you can see that, that one, but uh, they didn't even put uh, that, that picture full screen, okay? So this is the level of stereotype that we are still, uh, we still have, at least in Italy, okay? So, are developers introvert? By the way, how many of you consider yourself as an introvert? Can you raise your hand? Wow, I am in the right place. Okay, <laughs> okay, so, I've been thinking about this, so because I've seen people saying like, okay, so uh, coding development can, uh, will you, you will become an introvert by coding. Maybe it's, maybe it's the opposite. Maybe it's that, I don't know if you can read it. Maybe it's that the, the introverts, they like, they, they like being developer. This can be the reason, okay? And why? Why this? You remember, I said this a couple of minutes ago. Development is a creative process. So since introverts, by nature, they tend to be more creative, and I think that developers will be remembered as the, the artists of the third millennium, uh, this is why maybe many developers are introverts, or we should say many introverts, they choose uh, the, the developer path because uh, they don't have uh, to socialize. It's not a must, okay? But uh, I hope that at the end of this presentation, we will convince uh, someone at least of being more active on uh, social media. And uh, <laughs> this, is, uh, this is very important because uh, I'm, I was not like a social media guy. I started being active on social media in uh, January 2020. Before that, uh, I, was, uh, I already, was already working as a developer. I've been working for the European Space Agency, Copernicus Project, without any use of social media. But I decided to, to step on social media in January 2020. And the thing is that uh, in March 2020, I decided to, uh, by the way, I'm talking about Twitter. So I've used my, um, I started my journey uh, in, on social media on Twitter. Okay, I'm still on Twitter, by the way. At the beginning, for me, it was really a waste. It was really a waste of time. For me, social media it was just a way to relax after a very hard day. You just sit on your coach and you scroll. No, instead, I started to create uh, some strong connections, and some people are here, <laughs> for example. And um, so I started to see the value. And one day, it was the the fifth of March, two thousand twenty. I decided to to use my social media better. The thing is, is that two days after that, we had COVID. And in Italy, we also had a very strong and bad lockdown. So, probably, so basically, I had almost nothing to do. So I said, okay, so let's try to dedicate some time on social media. But I needed an, an approach. I need a way to approach social media because I knew absolutely nothing. So what is the approach that I've used that maybe some of you can also use? Now I'll show something of myself. So I've not been, uh, I'm an imposter. I've not been a developer for all my life, okay? I've been a developer only for the last uh, seven years. 
But before that, uh, I, was doing, I was doing something. I'm 38, by the way. I, I was a volleyball coach. So I've been, work, uh, I've been working in a sport for all my life. We, uh, and so I was coaching people. And I always have, I still have this, uh, training, this training mindset. So to do something good, you should train. This is super clear, super clear to me. And I think that if someone, I'm sure that some people here, they are fan of exercising, workout. So I have this approach. Many analogies that I make are always about sports, stepping into gym, getting in shape. You will see uh, me doing this kind of analogies uh, kind of often, okay? So with training, you can achieve great and also unexpected results, okay? I think that when we start Working out in a gym, we don't even expect what we can do, what we can, what we can do, okay? Okay, so now let's see this, because I tried to really break the process down to see how can we really level up our social media game. Sometimes I call this like, it's, it's, at the end of the day, it's a, it's a game. The final goal is not you being used by social media, by, but using social media for something different. I'm kind of sure that I will not be here if I would have not started my, my social media presence. So there is this idea of having seven steps to level up uh, your game. I also would like to know how many of you are at this uh, one of these steps. So how can we uh, level up our social media game? Okay, the first, the first step is to create uh, uh, and use uh, text content. By the way, here I'm talking about Twitter, but this can also be any other social media. And uh, for example, this is a tweet that I made in March 2020 that I wanted to start my YouTube channel one day. Okay, so, uh, so creating some, some text without even showing your face, without show, using your voice. So how many of you have ever made a post on social media? Text. Okay, not everyone. Okay, I was expecting everyone. Step number two. Step number two is to share visual content, okay? Maybe I'm saying something which is obvious, but this is like how I've seen that. So sharing visual content, it's a bit different because you are showing your face, you are showing who you are. It doesn't have to be uh, a, a picture, a perfect picture of yourself. For example, I've taken this, but I was not really coding in this picture. It's just uh, to, make a, to make a cool picture, of course. And um, yes, and of course, uh, this is also a way to tell you that if you want at the end of the presentation, you can come and take a selfie together. Okay, and so this was the, the visual part. And this is, this is a very important moment of, let's say, my social media uh, experience, which is uh, posting a video. Now, this can sound uh, dumb, but can sound uh, obvious and easy for everyone, but I, I know, I know, because sometimes I ask on Twitter, on my, so, on my social media, how many of you have ever posted a video of yourself? And the percentage are always very short, and there are so many people, like 70%, 60%, that they would like to start uh, making videos, but they are a bit scared. They feel judgment. Uh, they're trying to find some excuses. By the way, I am the master of excuses, so I know exactly what we are talking about. I made this video. It was uh, July 2020. And, to, and it was basically just to say thank you because I reached I know, a milestone on, on Twitter, 25,000. By the way, to, to do this video, my girlfriend helped me out. I don't know if she, she should be in this room. So thank you, Julia, wherever you are. And this took me like four hours to shot like a 23 second video. So, and this was very stressful, but uh, we are still at the beginning at this moment. Why? Because uh, these three points, they are um, asynchronous content, we can say. We create this, and then at some point we find the courage to click the publish button to post it, but it's different. So if we want to, do le to level up our game on social media, we should go with uh, synchronous content. Okay, how many of you have ever heard about Twitter spaces? Can you raise your hand? Okay, okay, nice, okay. So, and how many of you know Clubhouse or they've used Clubhouse? Okay, so, okay, okay. So basically, Twitter Spaces is like a way to create, uh, it's basically the same thing. So you can use a virtual, virtual uh, audio room when there are a host, a host, some speakers, and some people listening, okay? And I think it's a, it's a really underrated feature that can really help uh, you, if you have some problems, to improve your communication. I, um, 
fun fact, I had to basically uh, go on making videos without this, uh, this feature. So uh, I was doing videos before uh, Twitter Spaces. Of course, we can jump on one at some point. I would be happy one day to have to see how oh, Francesco I was at your at your presentation in Berlin, and here I am. Okay, so we are going with three steps left, and uh, I think this is a very important one. Live streams, okay. How many of you have ever done a live stream in their life? Not about coding, about everything. Not so many people, can you see? Okay, not so many people, yes, okay. And um, I think this is, this is a very important part uh, of uh, this, uh, to increase your social media presence. Uh, you, this can be literally about everything. I do some live, live streaming coding on, on Twitch, for example. One thing that you can do if you want to do live streams is to get a friend. You can get a friend of yours, this is Danny Thompson, and you can just chat. This is, very, this is great because uh, you can have someone, if you are not alone on live stream, to just ask some questions. And I think uh, this, is a, this is a great one. Then there is this one, uh, which is uh, live webinars. So uh, basically you have to talk for 25 minutes uh, and uh, you have to explain a concept alone. So for me, this is, uh, this is a bit harder, okay? And I've done a live stream for the Google Developer Group uh, on the official Docker YouTube channel and they both went, went pretty good, okay? And, and the last one, I consider the last step, so where I'm now, <laughs> public speaking. And this is, someone can say, okay, but this is not really social media because we are like in person, like real, in the real world with people breathing in the, in the same room. <laughs> but uh, I think that uh, now, basically also this step, it's included in social media because we are recording, there we are sharing a lot of what's happening here. So I always have seen this like as the final goal. So probably now I have to, to put another goal, I don't know. But this is, uh, this is important just to break it down, okay? Nice, okay, so very fast, very fast recap of all, all of these seven steps that you can, you, that you can uh, use to just be more active on social media, text content, then showing, basically showing your face, uh, then speak, uh, by the way, I'm sorry for my accent, but that's it, <laughs> and then uh, the, um, synchronous content as it can be to the spaces or the house, then you share yourself, uh, with your camera. At the, at the beginning, it's very, very strange to talk to a camera, but now I'm very used. Now I'm more used to talk to a camera than talking to people, but uh, that's it. And then uh, the last step is public speaking, as I said. Okay, so now, before, before we go to, we, we, with the questions, let's see some, some myths, because I really want to, to break, them, break them down. So, if you do something in public, then you are an extrovert. I don't know, do you agree or not? No, someone said this to me. But if you do this, uh, uh, if you do something in public, you're an expert. This is absolutely false. I borrowed this picture from someone. I also gave credit. Also gave credit when you take some pictures from the internet. And there are those are people who self-proclaim themselves as introverts. I'm sure that there are way more. But we see Emma Watson, Barack Obama was not. Uh, I was not sure about that. And other people who can still do something, but just being an introvert. Okay, so I've talked about what you should do. You should do this, you should do that, uh, okay. But I always like to also talk about what you should not do. Okay, so let me try. Take the step longer than the leg. I don't know if there is this uh, way of saying uh, in English, but basically it's, it's, it's like doing something bigger than what you can do. Like if you try to go from zero, from zero to just uh, do public speaking, I think this can be, um, can have a, a different uh, impact on your life because you can have a so bad experience. You say, okay, I don't want to do this anymore because you have done, just done that too early. So take your time. Then the second one is to, that you should not do, is to stop your journey. So having some mental block. It's basically, if you start, uh, I don't know, let's say sh sharing some picture of yourself, uh, you can, re you can decrease the pace and the rhythm you do that, but never go back. I'm not saying that you should post a picture of yourself every single day. I've seen sometimes it works on social media, but uh, it should be more about uh, trying to uh, challenge yourself uh, more and more, okay? And uh, the last one, uh, I like this one, you should never force yourself. I don't know you, but for me, 
forcing myself to do something like, okay, I have, now I have to make a video. I have, it, 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 it never worked. You should always, uh, and again, going on um, from a sport perspective, uh, instead of trying to force to do something, so putting some mental stress on something that is already stressful, you should put yourself in the best condition to do that. So this, my, this is my approach, uh, and for now, it seems that it's working, okay? I try to work out, work, and run, even if I don't code or if I don't create some content, it's good for my mental health. Okay, I really wanted to put also, um, also this one, and that uh, introversion is not, for me, is not a disease that you should heal, okay? It's just uh, a nature. I put this one, and I think that also, one of the reasons why uh, I decided to make this uh, presentation it's because uh, uh, once uh, I got a friend of mine, when I started to be more active, I already made some, made some videos, uh, and I got this DM. This is the reason, by the way, this is the reason why I started to talk about introversion, because before I was just, I don't know, shooting some JavaScript tips, uh, that's it, uh, dog, some Docker stuff. So someone once said, Francesco, you are such an inspiration because you were an introvert, and look at you now. So I said, Okay, okay, so now basically I change. I'm not Francesca anymore. I'm someone else, uh, I don't know, like, like an evolution, I don't know. Uh, and no, and, and so uh, and this is a very important moment because that day I started to talk about, introver about introversion. This is a, a topic that I really like. And now I'm here on this stage still talking about this. So I really wanted to say this. It's uh, not something that you should hear. <laughs> okay. I like this one, I like this one a lot, uh, and uh, do it for other introverts. I, I really like this one because uh, uh, doing something in public, uh, uh, sharing our, our face, our accent, uh, it's never easy. By the way, by the way, uh, just a small disclaimer, this is not a talk against extroverts. You should not punch, punch them if you meet them, okay? <laughs> it's, it's not about that. And um, it's just that by doing this, so, by exposing yourself, making a baby a bit a, a fool of yourself, you are helping someone else who is like you. So this is one of the reasons why I'm here, making a fool of myself. And I decided to put uh, this one uh, at the end instead of the beginning, because it's harder to convince someone the benefits before saying maybe how to do, how to do something. So what are the benefits of, of, being, uh, of being an introvert? One of them can be that you can have a, a place to express a pla uh, um, place to express yourself, a benefit to on social media, of course. Uh, if, if tomorrow I want to share something about my life, about, I don't know, finding a job at Google or quitting a job, or if there is something that I, that I don't like, or something that I want to communicate, uh, I can use my social media presence. And this is, this is great. It's like having a small TV just for you, with your and, and your audience uh, communicating with them. So I think I see this as a, as, a, as a huge benefit. I think there are way more than this, but this is like the three that I've been thinking about. Then another, another great benefit, uh, I think is the, that you will have uh, many, many more opportunities. You can, I said this uh, some, some days ago on my social media, you can, uh, of course you can find a job without social media. I think there are many people who can, who can do this. I've also, found my previous job uh, without using social media at all. But uh, I have to say something. Currently, I had many or more opportunities uh, by using social media. I'm currently a developer advocate. I don't know if you know what is that. I think we had some sessions uh, about that. And um, yes, so basically having a, a good social media presence, uh, I'm not talking about numbers, by the way, but just a good social media presence, uh, you can basically roll more dice. And this is, this is great. Okay, and the last and the last uh, last benefit, uh, of course, uh, is that you can find some friends. To be honest, I I, I was not sure about this. For me, it was hard. I mean, I'm kind of old, so for me, it's hard that I can think that I can find a friend on the internet and then meet them in person. But this seems that it's working. Now I met them; they are laughing, but I met them. <laughs> okay, okay. So these are just three. We can talk about this for at least one hour. But um, Okay, so also this one, um, basically I, I made about uh, 320, 350 videos in less than two years on YouTube. So I've been kind of active there. 
And one of the things that I have enjoyed more is to interview someone. I know I have uh, uh, some of them. And uh, I ask them, like, how it is to be a content creator? I've interviewed the people from the tech world, YouTubers like uh, the new Boston's Max Maximilian Schwarzmuller, and many, many other of them. And I ask them, like, hey, how it is to be a content creator? How it is also to stay on social media? Does it become harder? Do you have something that you didn't like? And they all, and all of them, they reply with the same. It always gets easier. So the more you get used to do something, it doesn't, it, it doesn't matter if it's, that's public speaking, live, live streaming, coding, it always gets easier. So second conference, and I, and I really feel way more relaxed, even if there are more people than the previous one. So this is also a, a living proof of this. And also this one, uh, again, since I, since I come from the sports world, in the previous conference, one person asked me, Francesco, why are you doing this? Why are you here doing this, uh, this event? By the way, that was uh, some Web3 stuff. It was another talk. And I had to think a couple of seconds, say, okay, so why am I here? Like an existential question, it's okay. <laughs> and the reason is that uh, I like to challenge myself. I like to see if I can do something. It's the, let's say, the, the, sport, the, the sport people have. Like, can I clean that mountain? Can, can I do that? Can I do that? And so this is, this is why I'm here also on this stage today. And uh, I really wish you that uh, if you want to challenge yourself, uh, you'll be successful. This has nothing to do just with uh, social media presence, but uh, I think it's a, it's a good and healthy mindset. Just see, okay, let's see if I can do that uh, or not. I'm curious, okay? Um, okay, so just, just a, a, very, a very fast recap. An introvert is just focused, is not shy but is focused on doing their own stuff. So this is how usually the mind of, a, of an introvert works. Okay, also working on a social media presence can really improve, can really level up your, your opportunities, okay? And uh, this is very important. The last one is that uh, the social, uh, we, all, we all want to go viral, okay? Let's do this TikTok and let's go viral. And if this happens, this is uh, it's great for you, I mean. But uh, this should not be what we are looking for. We should try to build things uh, step by step. One of the, my favorite proverbs, uh, since I, I am from Rome, is Rome wasn't built in a day. So step by step, uh, you will find your way. And now, okay, so that's all. <laughs> so of course, and now introverts, don't, they don't make questions, right? Or they do, I don't know. Let's see if we have some questions. And uh, thank you so much uh, for coming here. I hope this has been useful. And now let's start with the Q&A session.